Hi, and welcome back to the Alex Library of the Science YouTube channel. It's Erica with you today, and today we are going to play with the gorgeous, joyful Poinsettia die set. Hi! So this set is stunning. Let me just start by that, saying that. So there's lots of pieces for both the petals and uh, the greenery, so you can mix and match and make as small or as big flowers as you want. But I am actually going to use all of them and I'm going to be using a sort of non-traditional color scheme. So we're going to use teals and pinks and then a little bit of starburst for, you know, those um, like little statements in the middles. So um, this is the color scheme I've used on another card and I just loved it so much that I thought this, we're going to use that again. Yes, we are on all of these. Uh, yes, indeed. So obviously, first of all, we need to cut all of these flowers out. So this is a uh, 11 by eight and a half sheet of paper cut in half. We are going to put all of the dies on this sheet of paper. Yes, we are every single one of them, we're going to squeeze them all in and we're going to run it through in one pass. So if you if this is the part that takes a long time for you, you could, you know, just speed it up and cut out like one or two at a time rather than trying to fiddle around and get them all in. I don't know how much time to save. I just wanted to do it in one go. That's That was a challenge I set for myself. So I, uh, I'm squeezing and puzzling and trying to get all of the pieces in here. And um, I did manage in the end, actually, to get them all onto the same. But uh, there was a little bit of like wiggling back and forth and moving some pieces around and, you know, this and that. But let's just focus on the fact that yes I achieved my mission of getting them all cut out in one go so uh, this was I mean okay I'm not gonna say time saver necessarily but it was um it was fun and guess what I decided I'm only going to do the one little piece. I have this really, really terrible habit of cutting out way more pieces than I actually need. <clears throat> if you saw my last video, you might <laughs> have a little bit of an idea of what I'm talking about. But this is time I decided, no, I am only allowed to cut out one piece of each before, you know, and I gotta make a card before I'm allowed to cut out any more pieces because at some point a girl has gotta rein herself in, right? at some point. And I think I might have just maybe just hit that point. So we're going to put all of the die cuts away and then we are going to get all of these bits out. And um, we're also going to use something that is uh, brand new to me, which is a waffle flower grippy mat. So we're going to plot this straight down onto our, or I say our work surface, my work surface. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to take both sides off so that it will stick to my work mat as well as the uh, the paper. So there we go. Slap, slap that down, put pat it down. And then we're going to take all of these little bits and pieces uh, and put them all on that. And then we're going to ink blend these pieces until they are beautifully colored. Yes, we are. So here um, I, uh, I was kind of... Um, um, I, I was expecting the grippy mat to be a little li little bit grippier for some reason with all of these um, die cuts. When I have used a card panel, which I'll show you later on in the video, um, like just um, an A2 panel, it sticks perfectly. But for some reason, like the when when I have all of these bits and pieces cut out, it, it wasn't sticking quite as well, which I thought was interesting. Yes. But now, because we are going to um, actually get to the ink blending bit, we're going to zoom in a little bit here, and then we're going to pat down our uh, our die cuts a little bit more. So it does still hold the pieces. Um, I guess I just was expecting it to kind of like almost like, you know, like an octopus kind of sucker. What are they called? Those little suck cups on the uh, uh, octopuses. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back to the ink blending. So I'm starting here with a pink lemonade and I'm kind of going all over um, the pieces, but not not super, super sort of evenly because um, I wanted to have quite a, a natural light look. But one thing that I am going to do is I'm going to go in with a sweet pea and also a little bit of dragon fruit. And on each one of the layers, I'm going to do um, the, I'm going to add the color on different different parts if you say so you see on the big one I've done it on the like on the outer bits of the petal and then on the second one I'm going to I, I almost started in, um, doing the same thing that but then I thought no 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 we, we're gonna go and add the, the color in the middle 
so that you have the night and the dark bits so that it will really get that kind of illusion of being very 3D and very kind of alive, if you like. So I'm going in with some itty bitty blending brushes just to kind of get that dragon fruit in there as well. And, um, oh, I might still be on Sweet Pea. Yeah, I think I'm still on Sweet Pea. But I will be adding a little bit of dragon fruit as well because it is a freaking delicious color. Um, and it just beautiful. I love dragon fruit, it's so, so gorgeous. On the little uh, stamens there, we're gonna use our um, um, Starburst. Is it Starburst? Mm. Well, the yellow one anyway. And I, um, I'm going to be using uh, Aqua Sky, Oceanside and Peacock for uh, the greenery. Now, this was a little bit sort of um, trickier because I noticed in, um, that the pieces were kind of flipping about or flopping about a little bit. So I actually put them back into the piece of cardstock that I cut them out of. And this made them stick a lot better and it was easier to actually ink blend and uh, get that detail without the, the, the die cut kind of bending and flopping over and causing creases and things. So this worked a lot better, I found, uh, on the really, really sort of fine detail bits. So I was able to get in quite a lot of details and adding like contrast and highlights, you know, by obviously not blending too much color on certain areas. And then uh, with the kind of little leafy bits, it was so much easier adding the color with the extra cardstock around it. So that's just something that I found. So anyway, we are nearly finished here with the ink blending of the the pieces, only the pieces, because we're actually gonna ink blend um, a background as well. But they just came out so, so pretty. But I had to make them prettier, of course, because I couldn't stop that, could I? <laughs> no. Um, I splattered some gold on these, and um, I, I used the light gold, which I'm nearly out of, but it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful gold. And then I decided that this wasn't quite enough, so we're gonna add a little bit more. And then on the little statement bits at first, I thought, you know what, we're gonna make like little little dots to kind of create that texture. But then it just didn't quite sort of look right. So I actually ended up coloring the whole, like all of those little circles there, they are just covered in gold. Yeah, so it's very shiny, very shiny, I like it. But on the, some of these uh, other um, bits, I decided to add extra kind of details by just kind of dropping big, big, big blobs of paint. Not really big, but you know, bigger drops of um, the gold just to kind of like really make them pop. And um, as the the color in the brush has gotten smaller and smaller, you get smaller and smaller drops as well. So it just, it turned out pretty stunning if I may say so myself. So we're gonna have a little, little look at, look up, little close up here. I mean, look at that. It's almost like a galaxy in a petal. Ah, I love that. But so now we are going to actually do a background. So uh, for this, I've actually put the, the kind of the grid on the back of the panel for some reason. I don't know why it needed that, but we're gonna be using the Frosty Lace Stencil. So this is brilliant. So when you're doing with stencils, it's so, so good because it stays in place, there you go, it's not gonna move. I guess unless you do like ink blend, the ever living daylight out of that, mm, then maybe it will move. But I started with a, a light sort of smattering of aqua sky, sort of on the, like on the diagonal. So we're not gonna go the whole panel, we're gonna create sort of like a an ombre, I guess. Yes, <laughs> me and my ombre, I do love an ombre. And then we're gonna go in with a little bit of um, Oceanside there to kind of like just uh, create a little bit more details and to kind of make those, some of those kind of, I was gonna say leafy bits, but it's not really leaves, is it? But some of the pattern, we're gonna make some of the pattern stand out a little bit more by adding a little bit more ink on those bits. And uh, that's how it came out. I I must say, I'm I'm really quite impressed with these groupie mats and, um, yeah, I will definitely be using that a lot more when I'm doing, especially um, backgrounds with stencils. It works so, so well. So now it's time to puzzle these pieces together. And you might've noticed that I've cut one of them, uh, one of those little greenery bits a little bit. And um, it was more because it was gonna get covered up quite well by the petals and the, the other greenery. So I thought, you know what, let's cut that smaller 
nobody's gonna know. Well, I mean, okay, one of you guys is gonna know, but it's not gonna show. And uh, I think that's another way of just kind of like stretching your supplies a little bit. It's uh, just because something has a specific shape doesn't mean that it has to stay that way. If you can um, amend it or like fix it in, in another way that will make it work with your design, just go ahead and do it. It kind of, it will make you feel like you're, you're getting more uh, wow for your ka -ching. So definitely do that. After quite a lot of puzzling, it was time to do a lot of gluing. Yes, and I actually started from smallest to biggest uh, on the on these and it just kind of worked out really, really well. Everything stayed in place because the present seal trick wasn't going to work. Now here I was thinking, oh, I'm going to stamp this uh, sentiment directly onto the card base. And then I, I, I almost, I was almost there. And then I thought, you know what? I think actually, because I was going to stamp it in black to kind of make it pop. But then I thought, I think that's going to... I think that's going to look a little bit too harsh. So I decided to heat emboss it in gold. Yes, because we don't have enough gold on this card already. So yeah, let's do that. So I've pre-prepped my piece of cardstock here with my um, blending tool from the rabbit hole designs. And I, I must say, I don't heat emboss anything unless I have treated my cardstock with this tool because it just saves so much hassle. You get so such better results. And yes, big, big fan. And it's uh, the gold, uh, rich gold embossing powder from WOW. It is my favorite. I love it and I use it all the time. So after setting that with my heat tool, we're gonna use the brilliant word die cuts and uh, get these out or the sentiment coordinating die cuts. Yes. And we're gonna cut them out with my teeny tiny little cutie pie um, compact cutter from Hero Arts. I love this thing. It's so handy. Um, so. It is only about three inches wide, so it, it, it's not gonna do things like cover plates, but it's brilliant for word dye, sentiments, and things like that, the ones that you need to kind of like layer up. And it takes up such little space in your craft room as well. Absolutely brilliant, I love that. And another thing I really love as well is that when you put uh, all of your die cuts back onto your backing, it has like the, the tracing, so you know exactly which shape goes where. Another time saving hack from Alex Iberia. Absolutely love it. You can tell that she's really thought about like the, the design of everything because she's also a card maker. So she knows all of the kind of like ins and outs and some of like the pet peeves that we have, you know. So yeah, really, really good thinking there, Alex. So with these two sentiments, I decided um, I, I was going to put them next to each other. But then I thought, no, you know what? We're going to put one kind of like tucked away a little bit. So it's almost like a hidden message, although you can still see it, but you know, it's not going to be like kapow right in your face. And then the other one is going to go kind of slightly under the flower, tiny, tiny bit to the left. So it's, it's not kind of like super straight. It's all a little bit like higgledy piggledy. And I nearly stopped there, but I could not. So I've added some of these magical iris uh, gems from Crafty Meraki and I'm going to add them with the new Bling Buddy tool also from Crafty Meraki and having one of these tools makes life so much easier because I used to like pick everything up with my tweezers and um, including gluey pieces and then you know my gems would stick to them and oh it was just it was a mess it was a mess so I do love having like clever tools in my craft room that you know save me um, a lot of hassle when it comes to card making and um the, because I'm such a blingaholic and I use a lot of it, this is a time-saving tool for me, for sure. And I, I have not stepped away from my bling loving, you know, giddy up train here. I have added quite a lot of it, but I think with a card that are you are loved, you're important. You need a little bit of sparkle to like really kind of make those sentiments pop as well, don't you? I mean work with me here. We're gonna let everybody shine and we're not gonna dull anybody else's shine to make us uh, shine brighter. So we're gonna add a lot of bling and yes, that's what we're gonna go with this. And uh, it's rather sparkalicious, wouldn't you <laughs> agree? 
but I, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I really hope you've enjoyed this card. Don't forget to subscribe to the Alex Iberia YouTube channel. I will list everything that I've used down below. And thank you again so much for watching and I will see you very soon again. Bye for now. Toodles.